All right, this guy either deposits $120, which he starts doing at the beginning, beginning in January, and he does it for a couple months. We don't know how long. And then once he, and once he starts making withdrawals of 50, he doesn't go back and make uh, deposits. So at some point he stops, he starts withdrawing $50. And uh, there were no other transactions. And the closing balance of Carl's account for May, so where's May right here? That's $2,600. What was the range of the monthly closing balances of Carl's account last year? So, what we need to figure out, when he stopped depositing 120 and started subtracting $50, if we could figure out what month that happened, then we could figure out what our monthly range was. So, let's look at clue one. Clue one says... Last year, the closing balance of Carl's account for April is less than $26.25. So here I am at April. And one or two things happened on, on April, May, May 15th. He either added 120 and see April's less than twenty six twenty five. So if he added a hundred and twenty, it's possible that the balance was twenty six hundred dollars at the end of May. Now what if he subtracted if he took out a fifty dollar payment then if he took out a $50 payment, that would leave me at $26.25 minus 50, which would be $25.75. And that's not possible because we know the end of May, the account held $2,600. So it doesn't work that he took out $50. So that means he's been adding. He's still adding here. That means he also was adding here and here. Uh, but we don't know when it changed. So that's not going to help me. So clue one's not going to work by itself. Because, you know, it still could be doing 120 in June and July. We just don't know when the payment stopped, started at minus 50. Okay, what does two say? Two says, last year the closing balance of Carl's account, June. So here I am at June. And June is what? June is less than $26.75. So end of May, end of June, it's less than $26.75. So if on June 15th he added $120, that would be I would be at I would be at $27.20. And $27.20. And that that can't be because June it's less than $26.75 and $27.20 is more than $26.75. So that means he had to have subtracted here. But we, you know, we don't know when, we don't know when anything about the 120s. You know, we don't know when this, we know we subtracted negative 50, but uh, it could have been that negative 50 started here or here because we don't know clue one. So clue two doesn't work by itself. Now, if you put both clues together, we know we had to add here. We know we had to subtract here. So we found the point where they switched so we could find the ranges of, the, of those, what do they call it, of the monthly closing balances each time. I rambled a bit in this one. I hope, it's, hope it works.